Hi everyone. I'm making some sweet and sour chicken. And what I'm doing here is just frying up some little nuggets. Look how good those look. Yum, yum, yum. But all I did here is I got a chicken breast, cut it up into little chunks, or you can use whatever chicken you have. I season mine with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder helps tenderize it. And I just bought a jar of this sweet and sour sauce. Buy your favorite sweet and sour sauce. Put it in the flour. I didn't put anything on it, just straight from here, straight into the flour, and then straight into the grease, and look at that. Wouldn't you love to have that right now? It took me about 10 minutes to put this together. And I got some green beans in the back there. And then I'm just going to drain them here on a rack on some paper. Don't use paper towels because then it just soaks, just soaks up all the... It just stays right in your food this way. On a paper bag, it's easier. Look at how good that looks. Kids love these, adults will love these, and you don't have to call the restaurant. Uh-oh, my doggy's going to get that one. You don't have to call a restaurant in order to get these. Look at that. Look at how good those look. And it took me less than 10 minutes. And then you just put some more in there. Just drop them in there. Let them cook until there's a crispiness that you like them. Give these a try. They're crunchy, they're crispy. Mmm, look at that. Nice, good white meat inside. Make your own sweet and sour chicken. You can use this for a general cow chicken, sesame chicken, or just as chicken nuggets and dip them in your own sauce. Give these a try. Thanks for watching.